So guys, as you already know, Android 11 is finally released by Google just one day ago and I've installed it on my Redmi Note 8 as a GSI. If you also want to install GSI on a device, you can install this GSI right away. As GSI have some bugs, as you already know that GSI is always has some bugs, depends upon vendor which vendor you're using. So if you want full, full things regarding what are the bugs, I am not sure about those bugs because bugs might be different in your case and in my case also. If you're a Redmi Note 8 user, I'll provide you the zip file link so that you can install directly this ROM file on a device as Android 11 build right now and in this video we are going to take a look at some great and cool android 11 features which are just pro and i personally like those features very much now make sure to watch this video till the end let's get started okay guys let me tell you i have installed a pixel gsa this is not the aosp gsa this is a pixel gsa so that yes we have all the cool looking icons if you talk about the aosp android 11 gsa that has very shit kind of ui i personally don't like that and also it's a pixel pixel ui so yes we have the pixel launcher pre-installed which has very cool features like the suggestions and these kind of things as expected and let me tell you whenever you swipe down you can see wallpaper will go back as i already shown in my previous android 11 betas videos this is one of the greatest thing and kind of very interesting thing actually because whenever you swipe down you will see your wallpaper will be go back there and give you a very cool kind of effect at the home screen another one of the cool features of android 11 beta android 11 gsi or android 11 is that these kind of quick settings panel you can see notifications notifications are grouped here as you can see this is group conversations so you are all your messages here this is other notifications which has a conversation like telegram whatsapp or these kind of things here we have some notifications here and then we have some silent notifications all the notifications are categorized that looks very cool and very interesting and these features you don't get in android 10 whatsoever as android 11 is now fully released so we can expect some rooms based on android 11 very soon make sure to subscribe my channel i'll provide the android 11 based rooms videos very very soon so make sure to subscribe this now let's move on some other cool feature guys let me show you one more thing when you go here and talk about the emojis it has very cool looking emojis present here as you can see as it's android 11 new things new features the emojis looks damn cool very interesting and very cool feature and these emojis have i personally chosen to be one of the greatest one yes some other emojis are also cool but these emojis are damn cool these emojis have very cool kind of look and emojis you can change i have a corona kind of emojis also available the link for that video is in the description you can go and check it out how the corona emojis look like if you can install on your device you can install right now okay now let's take a look at some other cool features first of all let's take a screenshot let me tell you one more thing by taking a screenshot first of all these cool looking animation when you click here the animation was quite impressive i'll show you later once again now when you click done option now you will see these kind of options in android 10 you will not see this kind of change uh, i'm not saying this is a major change but still a ui change is available here so you have the option to confirm if you want to save your screenshot or if you want to delete that like the done and delete option already present there but whenever you click on done you will still see these kind of options save or a delete which is quite amazing let me show you once again the screenshot animation just notice that as you can see the animation just popped up like there which looks very cool also the share option which is through where you can directly share this if you want to also we have edit option available there too Whenever you open your recent panel, which is these kind of cards, here you also have the option of screenshot and select. So if we choose the select option, then this screen has all the text written wherever we want to choose. We can choose that text from here. We can simply copy, click, share or whatever else we want to do. This is the feature you only get in Android 11 right now. It's not present in Android 10, which is also one of the cool kind of thing available there. And I personally choose this one kind of things as a part of Android 11. I personally choose these kind of things and I use them on my device. I'm using personally from approximately past 24 hours on my device and I'm fully satisfied till now. Still it's a GSI, but still it's quite great and quite stable. Okay, here if you have noticed in Android version, you can see now it's written 11. 
the previous beta GSI is had Android R written there but now it's written as Android 11 yes it's officially released here you can choose these kind of things if you want to and I personally choose these kind of things that the Easter egg look very very cool and very interesting I already shown you this Easter egg in my previous video if you have not watched Android 11 beta 3 review yet you can go and check it out but yes now it's stable version is released so this GSI is based on the latest Android 11 stable which is just released by Google sometimes ago so you can go and check it out okay last but not the least we have the super user option available I'll provide the link in the description for this super user if you want to root your Android 11 GSI you can use this super user unfortunately magisk is not fully compatible yet sometimes magisk work on some vendors but depends upon your vendor if, if if about your vendor it's not working you can use this super user and if magisk is working for you it's quite good it's quite stable we don't get any extra option by the way when you would go to settings you have the super user access option request timeout and nothing else extra kind of things available there and all other things are quite same these were some basic things this was some main things about android 11 latest stable gsi i'm using it on my device and i'm personally fully satisfied with this it's quite great and it's quite stable you should try out this gsi on your device also the link for the gsi is available in the description if you want a installation thing you just need android 10 rom available for your device based maybe on AOSP like the Lineage OS, Pixel Experience, Evolution X, Extended UI, whatever else the base, the base of the ROM, it just must be Android 10. The second thing you need the system EMG with system IMG which I'll provide the link in the description and the third thing which you need is just format data and reboot we don't need anything else just reboot then you will be booted into this gsi very soon now this is all from today's video i hope you like this if you like this don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching goodbye